Going with Becky to Martha's Vineyard to shoot vacation homes this past fall was a wonderful experience. I've been to the island several times, but never to the southwest end, specifically Chilmark, Aquina, and Menemsha. I was pleasantly surprised to find this part of Martha's Vineyard to be more calm and scenic than the rest of the island. On our journey, we encountered fields of sheep and horses, and even a farmhouse with corn growing in the front yard. The house Becky had to shoot in Chilmark had gorgeous views of rolling hills that led down to Lucy Vincent Beach. And because of the remnants of a recent storm, the waves were crashing onto the beach so audibly that we could hear the sound from the house a half a mile away. I left Becky to finish shooting the vacation rental and I proceeded to Gay Head, stopping at Lobsterville Beach, Red Beach, as well as Menemsha Pond Landing. Each spot was just as beautiful as the other. I then continued on to Aquina, ending up at Gay Head Cliffs and Lighthouse. What an amazing vista. Even with some lingering fog, it still held me in a moment of awe. I picked Becky back up and we continued our trip together to the quaint town of Menemsha. We ate lunch at a classic seafood shack known as the Menemsha Galley, eating delicious swordfish sandwiches while we enjoyed the quintessential fishing village view from the back porch. If you get the chance to visit Martha's Vineyard, there is definitely a lot to see and do on the island, from eating at the famed Black Dog Tavern in Vineyard Haven to riding the historic Flying Horses Carousel in Oak Bluffs. On this trip, however, I learned that the south side of the island should not be missed, for its pastoral beauty and charm make it a true gem.